EastEnders tomorrow. Well, occasionally our chefs have a habit of doing too much, but tonight it's John to Road, Master Chef follows next. Then the neighbourhood up in arms about their parking spaces being used by the police. They're parking mad at night. While the electronics company taking a big gamble gets help from Digby Jones, the new troubleshooter on BBC Two now. Pedophile teacher William Varhi stored computer images of more than 50 British boys. The American taught at London's South Bank International School. The pictures were discovered after his death last month. A mother has tonight been charged with the murder of three children under five. The girl and twin boys were found dead in South West London. Tanya Clarence is due in court tomorrow. Anti-terror police are urging British Muslim women to come forward if they think relatives may join rebels in Syria. It's thought hundreds of British men are already fighting the Assad regime. A dramatic fall in overall crime rates. Official figures are down 15% in England and Wales. There were increases in reported sex offences and fraud. Cornwall's right. distinct identity is to yeah. be officially recognised for the first time. National minority status now gives the Cornish the same rights as the Scots, Welsh and Irish. Hello, I'm Stuart Flinders with the news from the North West. Protesters have been demonstrating outside a conference on fracking in Blackpool. Inside, shale gas firms said the area should invest in training or miss out on jobs. And an angry resident in Preston says a charity shop has devalued his home. The charity says it won't apologise for raising money for people with learning disabilities. The weather dry and clear tonight, tomorrow cloudy with some rain in the afternoon and high temperatures of 14. Orange, tomato and rabbit, that's why they call it an invention test. Master Chef, next. You can do to me up, and you can start at the beginning. I'm Catherine, by the way, I'm 47, I'm divorced, I live with my sister, who's a recovering heroin addict. I have two grown-up children, one dead, one who don't speak to me and a grandson. Talking people to you, you're the only thing that's free is the thought of getting out. It's a bit mad, isn't it? A date with your ex-husband. You get too old for this, Catherine, though. How would you like to make half a million pounds? Are you talking about kidnapping? I've got to know the police. You left abruptly. Everything all right? Yes. Yeah. Original British drama, Happy Valley, starts Tuesday at nine on BBC One. Looks good. The husband and wife bailiffs, who may have just met their match. It's parking mad at nine on BBC One. So we've an hour. Let's cook. It's the last Master Chef heat. Out of 60 amateurs, nine are already through to next week's knockout stage. Guys, congratulations. I can't believe it. Is it wrong if I ask you to slap me right now? I feel like I'm in a reality check. <laughs> he is still just the best. I don't want to jump the gun and say I could be in the final yet, but maybe we'll start to take over my mind a little bit. Bring it on. Here's to ravioli, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this year the standard is 